So today we're going to explore how we can use the relationship between a function and a tangent line to approximate values and zeros. So to start off with, let's start with this idea of a linear approximation. In calculus, when we write a tangent line, typically we write our tangent lines in point slope form, which we would write as y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 for a particular value of x1 named a, we could technically write it as y minus f of a is equal to f prime of a times x minus a, whereas now we're treating x1 as a. So we can use tangent lines to actually find an approximation of a value on a curve. So let's say we were to solve this equation right here for y. I could now write it as f prime of a times x minus a plus f of a, now that we've solved it for y. And in this case, y is gonna represent the y coordinate of a on the tangent line. That's really important. And this gives us an approximation of f of a, the y coordinate of a on the function f of x is represented by f of a, and f of a is the actual value. Now let's make sense of what we just did here. So I have some function. And let's call this point right here A. And let's build a tangent line right there. So on the function, this point would be A F of A. On the tangent line, this point is going to be a and some y value, okay? So what we're saying is, if I can build a tangent line, as long as I'm pretty close to a, I could actually plug in other values into this tangent line and use this as an approximation. So let's explore this. Let's say our function is the function x squared. Now, obviously we know that we can take derivatives of this thing and we can actually plug in values for this thing. So let's start by taking a derivative. Our derivative would be 2x. And if I want to build a tangent line to f at x equals one, we would need to find both f of one and f prime of one. So f of x is x squared, f of one, would be one squared or one. F prime of one would be two times one or two. So now I have enough information to answer part A and write a tangent line. So my tangent line would be y minus one is equal to two times x minus one. But if I take this tangent line and I solve it for y, I get two times x minus one plus one. Now let's say in part B, I want to now use this tangent line for something. Let's say I wanna use this tangent line to find an approximation for f of 1.01. So f of 1.01 is now going to be approximated by plugging in to 1.01 minus one plus one which should give us about one plus two times 0 0.01 or 1.02. Now that doesn't mean that f of 1.01 is 1.02. It means that on the tangent line, 1.01 is the value, or that 1.02 is the value on the tangent line at the x value of 1.01, okay? and 
because this is a relatively simple function, in part C, I could actually find the actual value of f of 1.01 because f of x is not a difficult function to plug into. So I could find f of 1.01 by going 1.01 squared, which would give us 1.0201. And what I want to know is how close were we in our approximation? And in fact, we're pretty close because I can find the error by finding the absolute value of our exact value minus our approximation. And it doesn't matter what order you actually do those in. So the exact value was 1.0201. Our approximated value was 1.02. And we can find we're off by 0.0001. Now, obviously, that's not a lot because we've picked a value on this function that's pretty close to the actual original x value. So what you've done is we have the function y equals x squared. We went to x equals 1 right here, and we built a tangent line. Now, on the real function at 1, it is the point. We can, excuse me, on the real function, we're now going to get really, really close to 1, and we're going to go to 1.01, okay? But I used the tangent line to find that value also. And we found that the tangent line had a value of 1.01 and 1.02, whereas the real function, uh, let me get a, an arrow right here, the real function had a value of 1.01, and 1.0201. And so what we're doing is we're using the tangent line to find approximate values of the function. Now this only works because I'm really, really close to the place that we built our tangent line. So let's do it again. I want to do a tangent line approximation to approximate the cube root of 127. Now we have a calculator. I could find the cube root of 127 quite easily. But I want you to put yourself in the shoes pre-calculators. How did they find the cube root of 127? So to do this, we're going to let our function be the cube root of x. So a little bit different approach this time. And we're going to choose a perfect cube that's close to 127. So we know that close to 127 is the number 125. So I know that f of 125 would be the cube root of 125 or 5. So I would expect that the real value is slightly larger than 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of this function keeping in mind that this function is really x to the 1 3rd power. We're going to take the derivative using our power rule. So we'll say 1 3rd x to the negative 2 thirds power, which we'll rewrite to be 1 over 3 x to the 2 thirds power. And we're now going to also plug in 125 into this function. Okay, not 127, 125, because we're building the tangent line at 125. So really important, this is where we're going to build the tangent line. Okay, because it's close to 127. So we're going to plug in, we're going to go 1 over 3 times 125 to the 2 thirds power. Now don't square that first. We'll take the cube root of it first and get 5, and then 5 squared will be 25 and get 1 75th. So now we have enough information to make a tangent line, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got our point, 125 and 5, and we have a slope, of 1 75th. So our tangent line is going to be y minus 5 is equal to 1 
75th times x minus 125. Let's solve it for y. So 1 75th x minus 125 plus 5. And now we're going to use this tangent line to approximate f of 127. Now approximation symbols are really important. f of 127 will go 1 75th 127 minus 125 plus 5. And what we find out is we'll have about 2 75ths right here plus 5, which is approximately 5.0267. So our approximated value of 127 using this tangent line is 5.0267. And I can grab my calculator and see how close did I get? Was I really close to the real value of the cube root of 20, 127? And you find out, yeah, I actually am pretty close, okay? So visually, what you've just done is we took our cube root function. We went to approximately 125, and we built a tangent line there. We plugged in 127 into the tangent line, and we use that to approximate the real value of the function. So that's where I'm going to stop. We'll only cover the um, tangent line approximations. And when we pick up in class, we'll talk about some differentials.